What up YouTube, it's your boy. I'm back with another video. Today's topic is about having that version of you that is 10 times better in your head. That person almost that seems like the godlike person of you. Like it's your mind, your body, and the person that you think of when you think of you in your prime. When you think that you're like at the best shape and the best mental and the best at money. Like they're the best version of having everything that person how you look you might completely completely be looking different everything like that you might have a different vision of that person and i say this because this is so crucial to a lot of people for me this was one of the biggest things that you know changed my life almost just because of the way i think and the way i move and the way i talk and the way how i am it's, it's kind of different it, it just really is different from a lot of the regular people that i meet right so but the thing with this is I was a little kid, you know, I was skinny. I'll say from at least 13, I started to think about, okay, I want to change how I look. Like, I, I don't know why it was just what I was. I wouldn't say I was so insecure, but I just remember this one day I was at like this pool party and like I had like this big ass pot belly and I was like bare chest. My chest was sucking, sunken in and my belly looked like it was bloated. And like a lot of the other kids, I don't know how, but they had like muscle and they were just like, you know, football players. I feel like football players always had muscle and shit like that. So like, you know, 13, 14, 15 year old me seeing shit like that. And especially when I got into high school, I'll tell you guys another quick story was when I was 15, right? First into high school. And I remember seeing my one friend. I don't, he wasn't my friend at the time, but we just changed next to each other type shit. And all, I had a couple more of my, more of my homies that, that was around me. And this dude became, later became one of the good, one of my good friends in high school and shit. And, Bro took off his shirt, bro. He was ripped. Like he, I don't, he doesn't even work out like serious, but like he had crazy genetics. Like his, his chest was big as fuck, and he had like abs, and like his arms was like strong. But like it was just because of genetics, really. But I asked him like, "Yo, what do you do?" He's like, "Bro, I just do like a hundred push-ups a day." And I'm, I was doing the same thing, but I looked nothing like him. Like literally nothing like him. So I'm like, okay, this guy's making me strive for more. Like, and he's my age, around my same weight. I was probably like one. 20 i was a fucking chiggling and he was probably around he told me like around 135 around that weight and we were like almost at the same height too so it was like almost identical just he he had crazy genetics and my chest was sunken in while i had a fucking pot belly you feel me like a skinny fat ass physique and then there was this one other guy this is before i knew about steroids this was before i knew about how people look naturally versus with steroids right this i didn't know nothing i used to think cali muscle was natural you know because he used to say he was natural and shit so I see this one dude, right? And he, I'm telling you, when I'm telling you, like, at that physique, I was like, yo, I want to look like him. Like, he looks crazy. Like, his his abs were popped out and his chest was big. And he had, like, but um, like steroids type shit. Like, he had, like, steroid arms. Like, the only thing that was lacking was probably his legs. But we're not looking at his legs. Like, his shit was, like, he would just take off his shirt, go into the bathroom. Like, I'm about to go take a piss or something. He in there, like, po po posing, like, on some bodybuilder shit. On the shit that I do now. So I'm like, yo, I want to look like that. But I didn't know about steroids, you feel me? I didn't know about steroids. And eventually, like, as I got older, as like, it took me to be, like, 17, 18, where I was like, bro was on steroids. And I still see that person, like, pretty often, you know? And his physique isn't as crazy to me as now because I see people with steroids and everything like that. But his shit was, it's still crazy. It's still crazy. Don't get me wrong. Like, he looks crazy good. Like, pause, but, like... It just wasn't what it was. Like, it just, I don't know. Like, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, that shit looks crazy. And I'm over there with, bro, 120 skinny arms, with belly pot, my fucking chest sunken in. You feel me? So, I became a long way. I'm still nowhere near where I want to be, but I still had this. But back then, I had that version of me upgrading myself, right? Just me upgrading my in my mind, like, okay, I'm going to look like him in a couple years. I'm going to look like him, whether it takes, bro. I didn't know. I thought, like, by... By senior year, I'm going to look like that dude. Senior year, I look nothing like that guy. <laughs> 30 years later, I think I'm looking like him. And my training wasn't good. And my diet wasn't good. So, like, I had some muscle, but I didn't really... You know, I was just always in the gym working out. But, like, I didn't really have muscle or anything like that. But now my diet's getting better and I'm looking better. And I'm still not the version of pantry that I imagined in my mind. Even the kid version when I was 15. Now there's still that version of Patrick that I still think of getting better. Just being that you know, very disciplined guy who's just working out, you know, boxing, doing what he wants to do and just has a good life and, you know, just swole, very handsome. Like, I'm handsome now and everything like that, but I'm like, oh, shit, wait till I'm like, when I'm 23, I'm going to look way better or some shit like that. You feel me? Just having that version of Patrick where it's just like, oh, shit, like it's a better leveled up version. 
And this was something that's so crucial and beneficial that made me go 10 times harder while I was working out as a kid and everything like that was me just wanting to look different and just, you know, trying to be the best version of me that I can possibly be. Like that was a so, uh, a form of self-improvement without me even knowing. Just me thinking about that kid, like, like just being strong, just being nice, having that fucking actor's um, model physique and... You know, a lot of things stems from getting girls, but now I get girls, so it doesn't even matter. But like back then, it wasn't getting so many, so much woman attention. But like just like them thirsting over me or some shit, and just like having that physique and just having my mental and just me looking really good in the face and just me being strong and just me, just a way better version of me, being healthier, just everything like that. People looking up to me and everything like that. Just having that respect that people know me from around and everything. And it's slowly falling into that character who I wanted to be. But I'm still not done. The thing is, I'm still not done. You feel me? Like, I don't think I will ever be done. Because if as long as you keep dreaming, keep trying to... It's like manipulate, man, manipulating your mind just to think that soon, 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 you're going to get it. And you eventually become it. You know, but then you just keep thinking about the better version of you. That there's still a better version of you. And that's like the most craziest thing that you can do for your mind because... Like, I didn't really, like, I liked, I remember I was a kid, I didn't like to work out. Like, this is how I, like, envisioned my working out, bro. I remember I used to live in this place where I'm at. I was I was living here for, like, a month with my dad. And I was tricked to live with him <laughs> for that one month. And basically, like, he would be like, come on, let's go. He was younger. He was like, let's go, let's go run around the block. We gonna run three miles right now. This, that. But as a kid, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Three miles was like, I was like 14, 15. I was just always a video game type dude, always in the house. I didn't even want to do that shit. But I would do it, and I'm like, damn, bro, I like, fuck this shit. <laughs> like, I used to hate it. And then we would stop at the park and then do, like, he will tell me, like, you have to do 100 push-ups and shit like that. And I'm probably my best. I got up to, like, 60 at the time, 70. And I was like, all right, bro, like, I'm really feeling it. You know, I was a chicken wing. I was a fucking weak-minded-ass little boy. And from that point, Tom, he's like, all right, now we got to run back. I was like, yo, he's bogging. <laughs> like, yo, he's wild. Like, six miles in total. For somebody who doesn't start, it's crazy. So, like, you know, if I were to go back, I'd tell them, listen, I'll run a mile, two miles. But, you know, I did it. And at the end of it, I kind of felt good, but I hated it. I still hated, like, 90% of me hated that shit. 10% was like, okay, we still feel good. Like, I'm glad I did that. You feel me? And that's how I feel like a lot of people think about when they first start the gym. But then I had envisioned that person in my mind where he has the muscle, he looks good, he's just this, that, and the third. Like, he's 10 times better than who he is right now. I was thinking at that time, like, yo, you have to really get to this. Like, this is what you have to do in order to look like that. So once I really got that into my mind, like, you know, I didn't have to run cardio. I didn't know much about cardio and this. I just knew it was healthy to go run and do some push-ups and shit. So just me slowly getting into it, right? Then I was like, I searched up, like, how, how would you look after a hunt on my computer? How do you look after, like, a couple months of doing 100 push-ups a day? And I seen like these fake ass videos where like now I would like it's so bad for like it wasn't bad for me. But like me expecting like after two to three months, me looking like a two, an absolute monster just doing 100 push ups a day was just like, what the fuck? Like, why am I even like, you know, but at the time I was like, OK, I have something to strive for. So, you know, I would do it for 100 push ups a day for months. And I was still I still look the same. You feel me? Like 100. It made me stronger. It definitely made my push up game stronger. I did gain a little muscle. You feel me? Like newbie games and shit. So then I'm like, okay, now I'm going to get a pull-up bar, you know. But I was doing 100 push-ups a, a, a day for, like, man, I don't even remember. At least, like, six months. Like, it was a while, like, a long time. So then I'm like, I, I slowly start getting into it. And I'm like, I have to do this to look good. I have, like, it tr like I program my mind to really love, love this shit. Like, this is what I have to do, even if I don't want to do it, bro. Like, there's those days where you hit the gym, you're like, bro, I don't even want to fucking be here. But you complete your workout, and you feel way better. And, but just as a kid, I never knew this. Like, I really, you know, I give myself credit for shit like that because I never realized that I trained and programmed my mind to really just start liking to work out. And then when I really started working out and I started doing pull-ups at home and just trying to slowly get into it, do like 100 pull-ups. I wouldn't do 100 pull-ups a day, but I'll do like three times out the week, four times a week, try to hit 100 pull-ups or something like that. And I see, I see some gains and I'm like, yeah, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Like, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And I never really fell off of it. From then on, like, 
I wasn't doing it as much, you know, like there was times where I'll maybe take a week off, two weeks, and but I'll be back. Like, I'll be like, okay, you're not fulfilled. You're supposed to be doing something. And at least I at that time, like I used to train basketball, soccer, this, that. So it was hard to always get my body, my um, my lifting in and shit like that. It was always hard to get my lifting in. So now I was like, nah, we got to we gotta do something about this. Like we used to, like I used to ball everything like that. And I'm like, nah, I got to ball like fuck out of here like so but i would always try to like with in between after ball sessions go do some push-ups in the the ymca and the people who knew this like the homies that know this they know this shit like they knew this shit about me like i always try to tell them like yo come in there and it was only one one homie right one homie who really stood by my shit at that time bro and there was another one that he, he used to come but then he used to make some bitch ass excuses talking about i don't know the form i don't know how to do it and then he ended up leaving this shit like a bitch but, you know, at least I, I do give him credit for, you know, there was times where I'd say for, like, two weeks, he, he was in there with me, me and my friends. And, you know, like, by the other kids, like, it would be a whole group of us. Like, it would be, like, eight, nine deep at the, like, going to hoop, go ball against each other. After that, you know, there was no such thing as the gym for them. But for me, I was thinking, okay, like, we in the gym. And then one of my other homies, one of my men, close men, I, man, that's my dude, like, we we would go and we would do a hundred push-ups, but the rest of the group they go to Wendy's and they go get like the four for fours and shit. And not saying I didn't do it, but there was I mean because we'll be in the fucking hooping for like four to five hours as young as like fifteen years that we hooping for so long. And then we go because we hungry. But now I'll be like, man, I gotta do these push-ups. Then I can go. Then we out. You feel me? Then we go out to eat. Um, and I, my friend was just on the same time and like a hundred pushups at the time was like crazy. It wasn't super crazy, but it was like, man, it was time consuming. Like it was pretty hard sometimes to get that in, especially if you're doing it on the daily, like you're sore, but you're like, nah, we got to get it in and shit. So me and my homie understood. And from then on, like I never really fell off. He kind of did fall off after a little while. Cause he was, he had his own life. You know, people have their own lives as we grow up. He was living with certain people that, you know, wasn't the best for him and everything like that. But then like he saw me still in the gym. You know, we always hung out all the time, but then we go to like LA Fitness, where it's a gym and then a court in there, like a better gym. I was lifting, I like bro had like got kind of out of shape, and he was like, he told me like, y'all, you low key inspired me to like get back up in there. And bro has like now to this day like a really nice physique where it's like for good, <laughs> good for thirst trapping and shit. You feel me like that? And you know, I could just say that that all stems from me just programming my mind to really start liking this shit. And now like. At this point in time, like, I love to do this. Like, it took me some years. It, it didn't even take me some years. It's just I kind of really understood after a couple months, like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, whether I like it or not. And time is, like, I didn't really think about it, but time flies. Like, you're just going to keep going. So if you if you want to be a fucking loser, I told myself, then be a loser. Or if you just want to be the same, then be the same. But if you want to look like this, you're going to have to do certain things and eat certain ways and, you know, really stay down to it. And I understood that as a kid and... It just showed out as me now, like, where I, like, you know, it's, like, I wouldn't say I was full-on bodybuilding training as a kid. You know, I would just do 100 push-ups and they'll do pull-ups and curls at the house with 10-pound weights, you know, because I couldn't get to the gym because I would fucking, my mom would never drive me <laughs> and shit like that. But I, I wanted to start, and that's how I started. And the thing with this is, like, a lot of the social anxiety of people starting and going into the gym and seeing big guys, bro. I'm telling you this right now, it was like 100 to 120 pounds, bro, bony in the tank top lifting. Like, I don't I don't know how it stems down, but I just realized that, I, like, a lot of people get intimidated by bigger people. I'm like, yo, his shit big as hell. I'm trying to get my shit like that. Feel me? Like, it, it, it made me even go more and just become more motivated. And just looking back at it, I started probably at, like, 15, 14, 13, 14, around that age. And I'm 19 now. So it's like kind of been like six years of just progressively working out. But I'll say two strict years of actually training. Really working out and dialing in and on my diet and really know what I'm doing now. So it's like, you know, just having that version of me, it, it's kind of got almost off topic a little bit. But just having that version of me that's 10 times better was the best thing that I can do. Just me striving for that person and me becoming that person day to day. You know, me just doing something that I can become better and better so that by the time flies after two to three years, I've looked way better. I've, I've changed. Like, I could look at my old pictures from back then. I'm like, wow. <laughs> like, you look astonished at these pictures. You're like, wow, what the fuck? Like, that's crazy. You feel me? So that that's all I really had to say for this video. Just really have that version of yourself that's 10 times better. I just want to really just... I just want you guys to really... 
understand where I'm coming from with this shit. Like, I really do because it's really crazy how you can change your mind and manipulate your mind to liking things that you really don't like to do. It's challenging, yeah, but after a while, you just come to doing it and just, you know, you see the progress. And then once you really see the progress, you're just like, we still in here, no matter what happens. I, I swear, a dog could die. My dog could, I don't, I don't want to say that, but things can happen and I'm still in there, no matter what. Like, there could be a party. I'll maneuver around the party, but I maneuver around the gym as well. I'm like, okay, I'm going to hit the gym early if there's a party after, like, after this time, time, I go home, shower, and then something, even something as like, I'm going to go party, but no, I'm still hitting the gym, bro. You're bugging. Like, you feel me? So it's like, I don't know. I just want you guys to really have that person of view that's 10 times better in your mind and really strive for him day to day to day to day. You feel me? Like, just really trying to work for that person. Become the best version of yourself, like I said, that you could possibly be. So stay yourself. Stay 300. And whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.